Right, so this was the uh, first question on the test, is that a particle moves along the x-axis at uh, time t seconds, t greater than or equal to zero, the velocity of the particle is v um, per meters. Um, in the direction of x increasing, where v is equal to um, 2t to the power 3 over 2, um, minus 6t plus 2. At t equals 0, the particle passes through the origin. Um, so that's a bit of useful information there. Uh, at the instant when the acceleration at the instant when the acceleration of the particle is zero, the particle is at point A. So the acceleration of the particle is zero, that's when it's at point A. Find the distance OA. Well we've been given um, velocity and we've been given some information with regards to the <coughs> acceleration, we've been told that the acceleration is zero, that's when it passes through A. And we've also been told that it passes through the origin. Okay, so how do I find acceleration from velocity? Well, I write down SVA, and then we know that when we want to go from velocity to acceleration, um, we need to differentiate. Acceleration, by definition, is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So rate of change of velocity with respect to time, which means it's the differential velocity. So dv dt is, and if I differentiate that, I'm going to get 3t to the half minus 6. So that's the, um, and that's acceleration. And we're told that at the instant when the acceleration of the particle is zero, so we want to make this equal to zero. And so we can go with, so t must be equal to 6 over 3, which is 2 squared, which is 4. So t equals 4. And now we're told to find the distance from O to A. So we're asked about something about displacement here. Okay. So in order to find that from velocity, we've been given velocity, and in order to find S, we need to integrate the velocity with respect to time. So if we integrate 2t to the power 3 over 2 minus 6t plus 2 uh, with respect to t, we get 2t to, to the power 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2 minus 6t squared over 2 plus 2t plus c. And so that gives us 4 over 5t to the 5 over 2 minus 3t squared plus 2t plus c. And that's s. Now, this is where this information comes in handy. It told us that at time t equals 0, it passes through the origin. So at t equals 0, the displacement from O is also 0. So we can say, if I sub in 0, this is going to be 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus c. So c, therefore, c must be 0. So our displacement, equation for displacement, is 4 fifths t to the power of 5 over 2 minus 3t squared plus 2t and then it's just plus 0 so it doesn't count All right it's a t at the end right now it said find the distance o to a a is when the acceleration was 0 that was when t equals 4 so now we're going to sub in t equals 4 so 4 fifths times 4 to the power 5 but 2 minus 3 times 4 squared plus 2 times 4. Alright, 4 to the power 5 over 2, that's 32. 32 to the times by 4 over 5. What's that going to be? 128 over 5 minus 4 squared is 16 times by 3 is 48 plus 8. So I'm getting minus 72 over 5 meters.
So therefore, the distance is just 72 over 5 meters. Or, that would be 14.4 meters. And because it said distance, we're ignoring the minus. The minus is the direction. That just tells us that it's behind us. But it, we want the distance, and so there should, no be, there should not be any minuses there.